Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, I'll be talking about the reporting section of the inventory module of Odoo 17. Like in every other module, inventory also has a very attractive reporting section. So inside the inventory module, as you all know, we get complete details about the stock moves, stock operations and so on. So you can easily manage your stock using the inventory module of Odoo 17. Similarly, you have this reporting section which gives you a complete idea about all the stock operations which is taking place inside the inventory module. So I'm not wasting your time, let's move on to the module and see what the reporting features provides you. So now let's take a look at the reporting section of the inventory module. So here we have the inventory module and here is the reporting section. Under the reporting we have things like stock, move history, move analysis, valuation as well as the performance. So everything is related to inventory. As you all know here the main important thing is stock. Every stock operations can be viewed here inside the inventory module and every data or everything regarding the stock operation uh, can be you know identified just by taking a look at the reporting so let's go to the stock reporting now here you get the stock okay you can see the product the unit cost the total value the on hand quantity free to use incoming outgoing units and all okay so data regarding every product is there now if you want to filter it based on only rental products okay you can get the rental products data or if you want only saleable product that is also possible now inside sellable product, if you want to see any particular product, you can choose that from here. And also you have certain things like that. So this is to simply filter the data. Here you get the details of the stock regarding the on-hand quantity and also which are free to use. Okay. Now if you want to take a look at the history of the product, just click on the history over there and then you can see the date from where to where this has been moved and all. So this is basically the move history of the product. Okay. Now, if you want to create a new one, means click on new. Okay. So, there is the new icon. Now, you have to provide the product of the name and create a new product. So, basically, you are creating a new stock, which means simply creating a new product. Okay. So, I, I hope you guys know how to create a product. So, I'm not going in detail on that. So, in this whole page, you can see the product details. Okay. Now, here you have this filter. Okay. So, where you can filter group by and you know even add favorites that's the stock then you have the move history so inside in inventory you have move history which shows you the operation which is the move of stock stock moves so from which location to which location the stock has been moved the lo lot number the quantity that has been moved the unit and also the status okay whether it's done or is it's not done whatever the status is that can be viewed here so this is basically the move history now this is shown in list view and if you want to see that in a canvan view you can do that from here see card like view of move history is sheet so you can see the product quantity the updated ones the storage i mean the product name the units then you have the date as well as the time and here you have the done thing okay so the product quantity has been moved this much quantity or this much unit of product is moved from one place to another and then you have the pivot view of the same, which is move history, where you can categorize the products. Okay. And if you want to add any more measures, you can add it from here. Okay. And also you have the option to insert this particular thing into spreadsheet. So click on that. Either click on a blank spreadsheet or an existing spreadsheet. So I'll put it inside a blank spreadsheet and show you guys. See new spreadsheet created in documents. Now, this has taken us to the spreadsheet which we created right now. So, that's how you insert it into a spreadsheet. And once it's done, what you have to do is go to reporting. And then you have the move analysis. So, inside the move analysis, you get the, you know, first of all, once you open it, you get the pivot table of the move analysis. Okay. So, here if you just take a look of the move analysis, you get the graph view, Kanban view, and list view, and also the pivot view. So here you have the total, the company and the demand quantity, counted quantity, everything is shown here. Okay. I'll just put it into a graph view and show. So here you have the different products and here you can see the demand for that product. Okay. So you can basically analyze the demand of the product from here. Okay. And here you have the line chart of the same. You have the pie chart over here of different products. Okay. So as you all know, for the line chart and by pie, I mean, so the line chart and bar chart, you have this stacked view and for the line chart you have stacked view as well as the cumulative view 
plus you can view it in ascending and descending order okay so that's the move analysis now if you want to add or change the measure you can change it so i've changed it based on quantity removing the cumulative view removing the stack view this is the bar chart i mean the line chart and this is the bar chart of the product which shows the quantity of the product okay so that's the graphical representation of move analysis and then you have the graphical representation of the i mean the canvan representation of move analysis which is simply a card like view where you get the initial demand of the product and the quantity okay plus the name of the product okay so that's the canvan view and you have the list view of the same so here's the list view you can see the reference the product from to demand quantity okay and the pivot view which we have already gone through that's the move analysis now if you go to reporting you have one more thing which is valuation which is the stock valuation okay so if you want to create a you know valuation at date you can choose a date and based on the date this will come so confirming it based on the date that is the stock valuation on this particular date and time will be shown okay so i mean we are doing the stock valuation for this particular date okay so you can see the date the reference the product the company the move quantity unit unit of measure total and so on so these are all the data regarding the stock and this is basically the stock valuation so you can choose another date over here valuation at date so choose a date to get the valuation at that date so today what i've done is i've chosen today's date and today today's stock valuation was that now i'm just cho uh, choosing the date as january 1st confirming it so what happened on that date there is no particular thing to show okay so let's go back to january 9 that is today so this is the stock valuation of the day january 9th similarly you have the same thing in the uh, pivot view okay as you all know you can flip the axis expand it and also import the excel sx file so finally we have the performance of reporting where you have the warehouse analysis so this will be the transfer date okay so i'll do one thing i'll simply add measure and show you can you can add the cycle time okay cycle time can be shown so i'm going to bar chart we have the transfer date and all so currently there is nothing to show over here the transfer date is given as january 2024 and the done deliveries here you have the option to choose the product quantity okay on this particular date the product quantity which was transferred okay so this is basically the warehouse analysis now here also you have three types of graphs line chart pie chart and bar chart and then also you have this pivot view so that's the warehouse analysis so that's how you get a rough look about all the things which is happening inside the inventory modu so this is the reporting section of inventory so i hope it's clear for you guys so that was all about the reporting and inventory module i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video